Hey everyone, I'm Andrew and welcome to Tech Check. In today's video, I'll be unboxing the Logitech Media K400 Plus keyboard. So the Media K400 Plus is not your standard keyboard. As you can tell here, it is your standard keyboard layout, but it does have on the right side here a nice little touchpad kind of laptop style so you can control your mouse right from your keyboard, not having to have an extra mouse hang around or, you know, trying to use it on furniture where it may not be recognized. It's just one unit right inside your keyboard with a few media buttons above it. And as I said, your left and right click and the top left, a little yellow button, which is also your left click. If you're just typing and you just want to boom, there you go. So that's one of the main reasons why I picked this up as well as, as you can see up here, it has 18 month battery life on two AA batteries right here letting you know that you can control the PC to TV entertainment from your couch as being shown in this image right here in the top right where the guy's using it I'm assuming in his living room on his TV office or something but enough about that let's go over the box as you can see the top left as I already said you have the model number little blurb letting you know you can control PC to TV entertainment from your couch it's got the 18 month battery life right in the middle here large image showing you the keyboard you should expect to receive inside this box underneath you got the logitech branding as well as letting you know that's compatible with windows chrome os as well as android but that's about it for the front of the box so but we flip it over and see what's on the back so as you can already see it's like really tight in this box. The seams just want to burst out. Luckily, it does have this tape right here. But before we get into it, let's check out the back of the box. Of course, in the top left, you have the model being the Media K400 Plus once again. Letting you know it's a wireless touch keyboard. Don't know if I said that yet. It is a wireless keyboard for Windows, Chrome OS, and Android. And of course, you have about a three-quarter image of the product with some numbers here. The numbers here letting you know that one, being the built-in touchpad for hassle-free control and freedom from device clutter. And two, letting you know that it's got familiar, media-friendly key layout, no learning curve, plus easy access volume controls right here, and arrow keys. It's compatible from Windows 7 and up, as well as Android 5.0 and later, which is what they should have done on the top here, and Chrome OS. You also need a USB port and an internet connection but that's only if you want the optional software download. Underneath that would be the same thing, I believe in French. I don't read French, but if that's for you, you it's there and you can read it. And quickly just looking at the edges, of course, more Logitech branding, right? You got two pieces of tape right here holding it closed with two plastic tabs. Looking at the left side of the box, it's letting you know that it's world leader in mice and keyboards. Right underneath that, you got a unifying logo, again to the Logitech logo, and on the right side, lets you know what you should find in the box, being the keyboard, two AA batteries, the dongle, as well as some paperwork, which I'm guessing is the manual. So as you can see, I've gotten out my trusty little blue unboxing knife, and all we have to do is just cut these two pieces of tape right here, so if we just quickly do that, shouldn't be much, there's one side done. Slide in between the cardboard. Okay, how about we try it this way? There we go. And that's all we needed for that. Always close your knife once you're done with it to make sure no accidents happen. Put it away to the side. Now if we just flip this up here, should be able to just... Oh. Okay, so these plastic... Oh, I didn't... I forgot about that little tab. There we go. Move those over the plastic. Open it up to reveal the keyboard, which is upside down for you. So how about we just turn this around? Sorry again for it being so dark. And there you have it. You have the Logitech Media K400 wireless keyboard. So before I take this out of the box, one thing lots of people have mentioned is that their keyboard didn't come with a dongle. Now, I was like, oh, I really hope mine comes with a dongle. If you notice where this dongle is, you might not have seen it yet but this would be very easy to miss. So if you do get this keyboard, make sure 
you grab this dongle out of this little spot right here. Don't just pull the keyboard out and throw the box away because you need that dongle. I'm pretty sure you can't replace it. But other than that, that's just my little uh, statement for today. How about we get this keyboard, which is in a plastic bag, as you can see. Pull it out of the box. Well, we'll take the dongle out so we don't throw it away again, like I just said. Let's take this out of the box and get rid of the packaging. Oh, first, as you can see, there is some packaging here, some manuals, like they said there would be. Oh, and that's pretty neat. A little flap here, which I'm sure some people would, but it's letting you know that the USB is right there, if you didn't already take it out. But I have taken it out, so let's get rid of the packaging, and I'll be right back. So starting with the pieces of paper that were included in the box that you just saw me take out, you have the Logitech Important Safety, Compliance, and Warranty Information first, which is a little three-fold pamphlet. So it's nice they include that. It's all right, your warranty information. I've never had an issue with Logitech products, but if I did, glad to know they support them. As well as this little K400 Plus TV setup guide, letting you know how to set it up by plugging the USB into your device, turn then whatever number two is, turning on your device, and then going to logitech.com slash options. Okay, well that sounds like some pretty weird instructions for setup guide. I'm just gonna plug it in and see if it gets detected. Nothing on the back there. But that's it for these two pieces of paper. Now let's get to the keyboard itself. So after getting rid of all the packaging and the manuals, what we're left with is the actual Logitech Media K400 keyboard itself and its USB dongle. I kind of wish there was a spot in the keyboard itself to place the dongle, but I haven't found that yet. What I have realized is the two AA batteries do come pre-installed in this little compartment right here. And all you would do is just pull this yellow tab to activate them, but before I do that, let's just show you. There they are right there. Oh, that wasn't even in camera. There we go. So this was on here and that little yellow tab was just, that's how you would activate them. But I just wanted to show you the compartment. It has two GP alkaline batteries. So like a no name brand, but you know, at least they include them. This little plastic covering, which actually feels pretty sturdy. You got one, two, three, four, five <clears throat> screws here, excuse me. Holding this uh, keyboard together, I'm guessing. You got your four little rubber pads, one in each corner to hold it in place. Right in the middle, letting you know that it's the K400 Plus. On the front here, of course, it's just standard keyboard layout with your media keys on top, which I'm guessing you would hit, yeah, right here, function. You got your function down here beside Windows, between Control and Windows on the left side, none on the right side as well as your home page up and down your end on your arrow keys here. Then you got your play, pause, rewind, music. So yeah, all your typical F keys and some media. It also looks like a PC power button. Let's see if I can scroll in. So that on the insert there might actually shut down your PC. I didn't know that. On the right side, you have the mute. You have the volume down, volume up button, as well as your touchpad, which feels very smooth. You got your left and right click, which they're not an annoying click, but they're tactile. You can feel them. And then of course your left click up here again, which you can't really hear, but you can feel it's a very, very low click. But that's about it for the keyboard itself. The build, it is kind of flexible. I don't want to do it too much because it would definitely break. And uh, not very squishable, so that's good. Oh, the top here, of course, your power button, your on off. So green, I'm guessing, would mean that it's on. Red would mean that it's off. Why it shipped on, I don't know. Even though the batteries weren't in there, and that's actually was pretty tight that time. But like I said, to activate your batteries, you just pull this out right here. And there you go. Now it should actually be activated. But that's about it for the keyboard itself. Now quickly looking at the dongle. As you can see, it's got the lot, if I can show it to you here, there we go. It's got the Logitech branding right on the top, the L-O-G-I, as well as a little orange, I'm going to say light or star. I don't know if there's anything orange or anything corresponding to that on this, so you would know it's for this, but at least it does tell you it's Logitech. 
As I said, I would have liked maybe a little slot you could have put this in. Actually, I didn't check that out. Let's look here. Look here quick. Oh, can you put it there? I don't know how good it would stay, but that looks like you could actually... Oh, there's the spot right there on the back of this. I wasn't even thinking. I should have read the manual, eh? Oh, my God. So there you go. The dongle does fit in the keyboard. Right there. You have to transport it. Sits right there. Slides that in there. I don't know why that didn't click. There we go. But there you go. So there. You don't have to lose the dongle if you have to transport your keyboard. All right. That is awesome. Thank you, Logitech. But now that i found that, I guess that's about everything for this unboxing. So if you like this keyboard and would like to learn more or possibly pick one up for yourself, I'll have some links posted in the description below where you can do just that. Or if you like this video, you want to see more of my content, or just let me know you liked it. Be sure to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment, and possibly subscribe. I'm Andrew, and this was Tech Check.